Hi. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In the earlier video we saw how to configure the static net. The same architecture, architecture diagram we are going to use for the static net. But the only difference is uh, the static net we have only one public IP address that is 100.1 slash 30. So I'm going to increase this pool for four IP address so that we will get a, a extra three public IP address for NAT. So first we will do that that configuration. Before that, maybe the first video I just to have to give some more explanation. What is meant by static NAT, right? The static NAT is one to one NAT. I think the configurations are let me check any configuration changes happen. Yeah. Two not eight sixty five hundred dot three. Yeah. Let me go to the NAT translation table. So you can see this is the TCP packet. Okay. This is our local IP address which is configured on our router. This is port is random port 1035. We are trying to access the web. So it's a port 80. And this is the outside global. This is the IP address it's trying to reach. We have only one public IP address, so this public IP address using with one private IP address that is a static NAT. We will go for dynamic NAT. The dynamic NAT is nothing but more private IP address and more public IP address. Okay, okay. I'm going to change this interface. 0 slash 1 no IP address IP address 209 65 only I'm going to change this 248 248 means you will get a 4 usable IP address right or even you can say 240 and you can get a 16 IP address. Public IP address is so costly, so I'm right now I'm just going to explain the scenario with four IP address. Similarly, you have to change it here. Config T interface link. 0 slash 0 that is one IP address public IP address will be useful for ISP router so that can't be netted what is a free IP address at our client end that can that will be used for NAT so IP address 2.9 255 248 okay now three ip address can be used for netting purpose coming to here i need to change the root right because right now the next job will be changed to four we need to change this default root no i P O zero dot zero dot zero dot zero zero dot zero dot zero two not nine sixty five hundred dot two IP root zero dot zero dot zero dot zero zero dot zero dot zero dot zero two not nine sixty five dot dot four I 
remove the rest of the NAT configuration. Interface G zero slash zero. No IP NAT inside. Interface zero slash one. No IP NAT outside. So that is a common command, but I over I remove that. Now you already you given a static route. Can remove this command also. No IP okay. Now the our agenda is this all three IP address. All three PCs can use three IP address or even you can add fourth one. Let me see. First, I will create an access list for our internal IP address. Access list one permit 192.168.1.0.0.0.0.255. Access list is created. Now you have to create NAT pool. Now I got to create a NAT pool that is IP NAT pool. What is a start IP address word? I can give uh, dynamic NAT. Okay, what is a start IP address 209.65.100.1? What is the end IP 209.65.100.2? Right, net mask. You have to specify the command net mask command 255.255.248. It's done. So that is the third and fourth step. Okay. Interface 0 slash 0 IP NAT inside first step 0 slash 1 IP NAT outside the second step third step is the access list creation of the internal IP the fourth will be IP NAT pool creation for public IP. Now we need to map this IP NAT inside source list one pool dnat dnat that's all. This is a dynamic NAT. So IP NAT translation. Now we will initiate the packet. I want to be pros two not eight sixty five under dot three. Yeah, I'm getting this from internet from here two not eight sixty five under dot three. I'm getting internet from here. Not eight sixty five under dot three. I will not get internet from here because the earlier video. The if you look my previous video, you will get the answer for this. The reason is I didn't specify the gateway. See internal network, the gateway is not required. If you are accessing one dot ten, one dot eleven, dot twelve, the internet gateway is not required. But it is the packet is coming from outside, so the gateway is must. Two not eight sixty five hundred dot three. We get wait. It will. It need to make a or pantry, and it will. You will get that. You should get it. Let me check where is the issue. We'll troubleshoot it. No issue. Ninety two one sixty one dot one. 
data is you able to reach that to not eight sixty five dot under dot three one dot ten one dot eleven that you are not able to reach check Only the two IPs get natted. That IP is not getting natted. Let me check. Oh, see. Mm. The only the two IP we given up. So I have to change this one. T. We can't test drive because first I need to remove this one. Dynamic is in use. So let me add this in or right. So write it now. You go to clear IP net translation. So IP net translation. Yeah, now we yeah. Two not eight sixty five hundred or three. Yes, two not eight sixty five hundred or three. Yes, This is ICMP packet. This is TCP. 1.10, So If I am adding one more PC, you will not get. Because it's dynamically allocated. will not get because it will not get translated only three public IP and you are allocated dynamically to all the pieces so if anything is not in use it will it will get connected I hope you enjoy the video because the fourth PC will not get a NAT translation due to the restriction from private and public IP. We'll see other in my next video. Please subscribe, like and comment. Bye.